Welcome back, all you big bass lovers. It's DeMont coming back at you. Just came in the mail today. Is the Acura HICC 50. Accuracy cast. Hmm. So let's take a look at information here. It's, um, this one here is the HICC 750R, which I think this is a seven gear ratio one. Um, it says it has 20 pounds of drag. Let me see if it'll, if it'll clear up that. Let me see here. There you go. 20 pounds of drag. Um, 68 centimeter per turn. 11 plus 1 ball bearing. Um, okay, let's go ahead and open up what's in here. I've heard people talking about this. I haven't actually watched any reviews for it yet. I don't really know what to expect. Let's see what we get in the box here. Okay, you get your paperwork. And it's got a little, um, it's a little line holder when you get the line on the spool. That's cool. This has the two spools. It has a shallow one and it has a deeper one. We're gonna take weights on both of them in just a minute. So they're kind of packing it like a casking reel. This is the first time I've seen like strictly um, AliExpress box it up like this right here. Um, anything else in there? That's it. Okay. So, first thing I've noticed, this has a really short handle. But it feels really smooth. Okay. Yeah, it feels really smooth. It's got your conical line guide. Kind of like Shimano's and Caskings and stuff. It's got a really high thumb bar. Wow. That thumb bar is really nice. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a nice thumb bar. Right away, I can see they're trying to copy the, Z the zillion. Let's hear what kind we got here. Very nice audible clicks on your tension spool. Um, very good audible clicks on your star drag. Let's bring the scale over and stuff. Let's go ahead and start doing some of this while we're taking stuff apart. So we take a look at it here. All right, so let's see here. Let's. All right, so let's see what she weighs here. 4.9 ounces. Wow. That's pretty cool. She got a sub five ounce reel. These handles feel very plasticky, but they don't feel that bad. Probably wouldn't mind changing them. I think the the guy, uh, Charlie, on um, Bass and Bonza has some of these reels. He's put, he's like changed out the star drag. He's changed out, the, he's done his single life handles or whatever. One thing I've noticed about these already is that on most of these CDM reels, they have a solid foot across here. They don't have like the space in here cut out. That's a nice touch. So, all right. So let's move this scale to the side and let's turn this one on. All right. So we should be... Okay, so there we go. We're on grams. Let's see what get we open this up. Okay, I guess it it was already open. All right. So you don't get the FTB rakes, you get the mag tracks. You get eight buttons. This bull is kind of interesting, huh? So it feels it doesn't feel as light as the as the ones we did the other day. Oh, by the way, the one with the broken handle, the um, Tersanova, they're going to send me a new handle and they're going to send me some oil. So let's see, this spool weighs. Oh wow, look at that, six point five two. So by the time you take these, take that bearing off, you're looking at 
like a, a six gram spool. That is super light. Wow. Let's see how much this one weighs. But I have noticed it's not very wide at all or very tall. It is very shallow. Okay, so here's the other spool, your deep spool, deep er spool. I wouldn't call this a deep spool. I would call it a deep er spool. What does she weigh? She weighs 8.2. Wow, still. <laughs> still extremely light spool. Um, okay, so let's turn this off. Okay, so I noticed with a little bit deeper spool, you get more surface area for your magnets. But it looks like they have a... I don't know if you can see this right here, like a raised lip um, to get this closer to the magnets on the shallow spool. Um, based on the amount of drag these have, um, I don't know, I'd like, I'd like to get something and try it out and see how how well it holds up. We shall be doing it pretty soon. We're, we are closing on the house on Tuesday. And we should start moving and doing stuff thereafter. I've been trying to get some other stuff set up over there as well. But it is very smooth. It doesn't make hardly any noise. This is like one of the most refined CDM rails I've seen in a while. That Tursa Nova is really good too. And there's a few others I've held that are really nice. I have some other ones coming in pretty, too, pretty soon as well. That might blow this one out of the water. But we'll have to see. But... Um, one thing I was going to say is if I recommend to some people, if you can't afford to buy like a skipping and pitching reel, uh, buy one of these higher end uh, bait finesse reels. Put you some 40 pound braid on there with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. The 20 pound braid is mainly just so you can hold more line on here. Um, but usually they have the, if you get a good one, don't get me wrong, you can't be buying a cheap one. You have to get a good one with a good break. And it'll skip really good because it has a very shallow spool. Um, I have been going a lot more lately just using a braid with a fluorocarbon leader on my flipping and pitching. Um, especially my pitching. Just because it gives me better sensitivity overall. But more of an instant hook set when I'm like trying to get fish. Um, just give you an example. You pitch over a lay down, you know, when you get on top of that lay down, and as soon as you get over that lay down, you feel boom. Well, when I'm fishing with braid, I can go ahead and just lean back into them and set the hook and pull them over top of that lay down. But when you're fishing with straight fluorocarbon, sometimes when you feel that ba bump, when you go to set the hook, you have a teeny bit of stretch or a little bit more than a teeny bit, but, and they get wrapped around that branch instead of lift over. That's one thing I've kind of noticed more about braid. Fishing with a braided main line versus a fluorocarbon main line as I'm able to horse fish over. But yeah, this the finish on this looks really nice. Guys, you can see it. Um, I think it says Covelio Accuracy Cast. Let's see how many brake settings you get on here. We'll go back and look at this. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, it does have a drag clicker that's cool um it says it right here on this thing right here bait alarm anytime you see the word bait alarm it means drag clicker all right so we're on the zero position one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So you have 30 position adjustments. So you have six in each one. And it goes up to five. I'm trying to see if you can get you can see that. There you go. It goes up to five. You have six in each each setting has six. Huh. 
This is a nice little reel. I mean, it's super light. Looks really good. Looks refined. The thumb bar feels awesome. I mean, it's very well defined, too. You have no slop, no play in it. Um, kudos. I mean, I'm, I'm, we need more CDM reels like this. I mean, that right there is, well, look at that free spool on it. And I got the spool tension now cranked down. Um... What was I saying? Dang, I'm sorry, I forgot, guys. Um, yeah, and this is like one of the nicer offerings I've seen from them in a, quite a while. Um, it feels like almost every place they can put a bearing has a bearing. But it probably has multiple bearings in some places that they don't need multiple bearings just so they can have that bearing count. I have taken apart a reel that said it had a lot of bearings, and <laughs> when I took it apart, it didn't really have that any bearings. It's kind of lied, bold face. But I'm pretty sure they're not doing this. But I have seen some of these CDMs where it says it has um, 11 bearings. And each handle have three. So six bearings is in your handle here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, seriously? Um, but hopefully this company is not doing that. Um, I mean, like I said, it feels super smooth. It's not making any noises. Wish it had a bigger handle. I mean, I have big mitts. This whole reel just kind of disappears in my hand. But I've always liked, liked the BFS kind of reels. But you can see just how my thumb just barely fits inside that spool. But, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you know somebody looking at this reel, share this video with them. Subscribe to the channel. I got, I'm trying to do two or three videos a week now for you guys. Um, all right. You guys have tight lines. Good luck out there.